We've been 3D printing and selling lithophanes since 2018. They're perfect customizable gifts for friends and family. Everybody loves them, but they're not easy to print. Unlike other settings, there are tons of config settings and unlike other prints, these need to look good on the outside and inside, since the light will be shining through them, exposing any issues. There are five steps we use when printing lithophanes. Step one is choosing the right image. Not all images are created equal. If possible, pick an image that highlights something close up without too much detail. For example, if it's a picture with lots of people, have it as close as you can without cropping anyone out. Make sure the image has good lighting and contrast. We'll show you some examples, but try to find images that have bright lights and dark shadows. That will help you get more definition to your object. Speaking of definition, you'll want the image to be as high quality as possible. Whether you have a horizontal image or a vertical image will depend on the shape of the lithophane. The last thing to mention with images is the background. The more simple the background, the better. Having a blurred out background looks the best in my opinion. If your image doesn't meet this criteria and you still want to use it, that's okay. There are edits you can make to improve it. Which brings us to step two, prepare your image. There are a few things we focus on to enhance image quality. The brightness and contrast are the most important. Highlights and other things can help, but aren't as critical. When adjusting the image quality, you don't want the image to be too bright where it's overexposed or too dark where you can't see anything. Play around with it until you find a good balance. You can run a few test prints on a smaller scale if you aren't sure how it will look. Once your image is ready, it's time to prepare the STL file. And we'll do this on a lithophane website. There are three main sites, Lithophane Maker, It's Litho, and 3DP Rocks. We've used all three, but keep coming back to Lithophane Maker. They are the flagship lithophane company. They've been around for a long time and they just released their desktop version, which is so nice to use. That being said, each company adds their own shapes. So every once in a while, I'll use them when I want something different. Today we'll be using the Lithophane Maker software, which you can download from their website. Inside Lithophane Maker, you'll find multiple shapes, a circle, a curve, a flat square or rectangle, depending on your image size, a heart, a lampshade, a box, a nightlight, and a sphere. They also have the option to create colored lithophanes, which are super cool, but we'll cover that in another video. For this video, we'll show you our favorite settings for the nightlight. First, you need to add an image. There are two ways to do that. You can either click on this box or drag the file onto the box. I recommend turning the viewing resolution to the same resolution as the print if your computer is fast enough. If you go all the way down to 0.1 and you feel like it's skipping a little bit, go ahead and bump up the image resolution. It won't change the quality of the print. I always print my print quality resolution at 0.1. This is the most important step that many people miss. Going from 0.3 to 0.2 or 0.2 to 0.1 is like going from 720p to 4K. It makes a huge difference. Here's some examples of that. We have found the best minimum thickness is 0.6 or 0.7, and the maximum thickness is around 2.4. Play around with these and see what you prefer. It also depends on the filament type. If it's a thicker, darker filament, you might not have to go as thick for the maximum thickness. If you don't have an image editing software and you weren't able to increase that image brightness and contrast, you can actually do that within this software. You can also crop from here, which I'll do for this example. I'm going to print two night lights, one like this and one where you have the before and after image that I edited so you can see the difference in quality. As soon as you save the print, you can drag that STL file into your slicer of choice to start preparing the G-code. For this example, I'll be using Orca Slicer. Oh, real quick, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We're trying to hit our next goal. It doesn't cost anything to you, but it means the world to us. If you want the best print quality, there are three settings we highly recommend you change. The first one is the height. Print at 0.1 millimeters. This increases the print time, but it looks so much better. Here's that example again of that image where we put it at 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0 0.3. Make sure you have a perimeter of at least three walls. You could choose to have more, but if you have less, it might not fill the whole gap and you'll have an inconsistent image. The third setting is your Z seam. 
it's best to have it aligned on the back side corner. Without this, you might have holes in your image where your print head moves to that next layer. Those are all essential for image quality. If you're looking to speed up your print, use adaptive layers. When doing this, I set the minimum layer height to 0.1 and the maximum to 0.28. You can print these lithophanes as fast as your printer and filament can go, but the faster you go, the worse the quality will look. We've printed hundreds of lithophanes and it really just depends on the filament and the printer. Which brings us to our final step before printing, choose the right filament. This is a huge topic and we're making a video all about it. For now, having the right or wrong filament will determine how good these turn out. We printed these nightlights with a ton of different filaments some from the same company, but slightly different colors, and others from completely different companies. The color of filament will depend on the mood you're trying to set and the brightness of the light. Warmer colors like these look significantly different than cooler colors. My favorite filament is the Cool Lithophane Gray from American Filament. However, it needs a bright light and might not work as good with a nightlight. You can change the settings in Lithophane Maker to make it thinner, but too thin will cause holes and gaps in your image. Now it's time to print. We use these night lights from Amazon, but I'm pretty sure you can find these from any local department store or even grocery store. I'll drop a link down below. If you have these night lights, you may want to get some sandpaper and lightly go across the top surface. As it sits, this night light will give off a pretty harsh light. By sanding the surface, it softens that light and gives it a different look. You may want that harder light that gives off those fine lines. It could look cool in some images. If you've never printed a lithophane before, start off small until you find the correct color, speed, and filament that you like. As an example, I printed these tiny images to see if there was really a difference between 0.1 millimeters and 0.2 millimeters. These ended up being a little too small, so I made the image bigger, which you've seen already. And like I said, the smaller the layer, the higher the quality. Again, it's like 720p to 4K. Now, if you're printing these in a factory and time is money, it might be worth it to bump up that layer height. Whatever you do, try to find that right balance of time versus quality. If you're experiencing issues with your lithophane, go ahead and try out these steps. If they're not working, please let us know. We are a community of people that want to help each other get better at 3D printing. For all of our Patreon and YouTube members, thank you so much. We couldn't do this without you. If you'd like to be a member, go ahead and find the links down below. Quick shout out to American Filament for sponsoring this video. We actually reached out to them because we love their filament and wanted to show it off. And just as their name states, they make all their filament within the Americas. Stay awesome and happy printing. Is that, is that a thing? Happy printing? <sighs> I've been at this too long. We're done.